Welcome back everybody, and thanks for following our journey. This past summer, we had the chance to tour a Viking 46. Check out the link below. It wasn't the right boat for us, but afterward, the broker asked if we wanted to check out a Navigator 5100. Allie and I both really liked the Navigator style. It was way out of our price range, most boats are these days, but we still took the time to do a quick tour of the boat just to make sure we still liked it. So come along as we check out Salty Dog, a 2006 Navigator 5100. I'm Scott and this is Allie, and we live in Seattle. Over the last several years, we've owned and operated two boats in the Pacific Northwest. And now we're on our search for our liveaboard cruiser. So hit the subscribe button now to come along with us on our boating journey and see where it leads. When we toured this Navigator, it was blistering hot at almost 100 degrees. It was really gracious of Martha with Chakovi Yachts to give us a quick tour, which was not planned after she found out we love the Navigator layout. This 5100 is the exact layout of the 5100 we toured a few months ago up in Blaine. The main difference is that that boat sank and it didn't have any salon furniture, so now we know how it's laid out. I love that the salon and the galley remind me of a small apartment. They are both very homey, making this yacht a great liveaboard. I love to cook and entertain, and this galley is perfectly laid out for just that. It comes with an electric stovetop, not propane, yay, and a newer convection microwave. The fridge is almost full size and the hatch in the galley floor actually leads to a large pantry. With tons of galley storage space, this is an ideal liveaboard kitchen for us. I could definitely live on this boat. This yacht also offers numerous spaces for remote workplaces. There's a built-in desk that also has an ice maker. Plus you have the galley counter that you can work at. And up on the bridge, there's a large settee offering a great office view. While we have never actually piloted from the interior bridge, this navigator has great visibility from the inside, making it much easier to navigate a boat of this size. Stepping through the pilot house door, the walkways are nice and wide and have tall railings. That's a feature we definitely are looking for, especially for cruising in the Puget Sound. Moving up to the flybridge, you can see that they've removed all of the cushions for winter, but check out all the storage that's located in the seats. We were surprised that the flybridge did not have a full enclosure and only had a bimini top. With that said, the helm was actually in really great condition. This yacht is powered by twin John Deere Lugger 6081 375 horsepower engines, and it also comes with a bow thruster. This boat also comes with an 11-foot Avon Rover dinghy with an 18-horsepower Tohatsu outboard, and it's lowered with a Brower davit system. We still can't get over how much storage was under those seats. You could put all kinds of stuff up there, so that is fantastic. The main stateroom has a walk-around queen-size bed. 
just like the previous 5100, the washer and dryer are located in the main stateroom, which also offers tons of storage space. This is vital for any liveaboard boat that we're looking at. The head has a separate shower, which is another feature we are looking for in our liveaboard. It also has great storage and counter space as well. Plus, we love that the finishes resemble a home bathroom, making it a bit more homey for us. Down the hall are two guest staterooms, including a VIP V-berth and twin bunk room. Those both share a head that also has a separate shower stall with all of the same features of the main one. Since this wasn't a planned tour, we rushed through the boat a bit quickly and we apologize that some of the footage is a bit rough. Heading aft once again, the engine room is accessed through the salon floor. As Ali said earlier, Salty Dog sports twin John Deere Lugger 6081 375 horsepower engines, which are barely broken in with just over a thousand hours each. She also has a 12 kilowatt Northern Lights generator. Full specs can be found in the link below. After touring a number of different Navigator yachts this summer, it's obvious that this is our top pick for a liveaboard today. We love the layout and the furnishings, which resemble a small home to us. As we go into 2021, we'll look at some other yachts to see if we're still set on the Navigator. Of all of the Navigators, the Sundance model is our favorite, and unfortunately, that's a rare find. Stay tuned as we go into a new year in search of our liveaboard boat. Happy New Year, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell to be notified when videos are posted. We appreciate your support, and we'll see you soon.